interacting with one another in the Super Bowl of fairy tales. Into the woods, the baker and his wife go on an epic journey to get their wishes granted, but the consequences of their actions make everyone question happily ever after. Welcome Academy Director Jason Crespin, and along with Charlie and Sakura, two of the actors in the show playing the baker and the baker's wife. Yes, I like how you described it. Super Bowl of fairy tales. That's right. It's right. So it's basically like we have the quarterback and then another person on a football team because I didn't play sports. So then <laughs> Whoever that other person is on the team. The All Star Game. I think that's, yes, a, that, yes, that's yes. a better representation. Yeah, yeah. But it's so true, and, and uh, they they are doing an absolute fantastic job in this show, as as all of our cast members are. Can I just say though, when you hear when you talk to actors, like no matter what level of acting they do, they love Into the Woods. Like this is like this is what everybody loves to do, right? Have y'all found that? Is it just been such a pleasure? Or? It's been so much fun, especially it's just such a classic. As, as soon as it was announced, because I knew that name and I knew the story, and I was so excited. Okay, so what is the story? Can you take us through it, Charlie? Um, so the story is of the fairy tale characters of Cinderella, Jack and the Beanstalk, and Little Red Riding Hood, with a new story of me, the baker, and Sakura, the baker's wife, who wish to have a child. So all of them have to go into the woods to find their wishes. Okay. Yeah, there's this witch that has cast a spell on on their family, and uh, basically, in order for everyone or for them to get a wish of, of having a child, mm -hmm. they have to get mm -hmm. four items, and they have to go into the woods to get these items, and it's. Ah, oh, it's a great show. Hilarity ensues? Well, yes, hilarity ensues. Oh, uh, Disney, of course, made the movie with Meryl Streep a couple mm -hmm. years back, and that's kind of what people are familiar with. But yes, this is the, the classic so Stephen Sondheim musical that we're producing. And it is a musical. It is a musical, yes. And we're doing the, the full version. I mean, just because we have kids, there, there's a junior version out there, but we're not. We're doing the full version of Into the Woods um, in, in a kind of a reimagined re reconcept for it. And it's in the adventure space, yeah. so that's interesting, that right? Intimate feeling, yeah. Yeah, do, the academy doesn't usually perform on the adventure space. We stage. we usually do one one show uh, uh, a year. We've done Godspell there before. Okay. We've done Mr. Popper's Penguins there. Yeah, yeah. Couple, but it's, it's harder to do musicals there because um, our musicals are, are so big and right. elaborate. Sometimes right. it's, it's too big for the adventure space. But I knew with the show, I wanted to have that intimate feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, we, in fact, I've staged it in. I, I like to call it an attic of memories. So oh. th these are um, ten actors that are actually the storytellers of the show. So they come out. And, and they start talking to the audience and interacting with the audience, and then all of a sudden they say, once upon a time, and we start the show, and they just might put on a cape for Little Red or, or a hat for a character, and, and using these attic props that, that are, are used to tell the story. So it's a really a reimagined, inventive way of doing the show. What a cool idea, huh? Yeah. That's it's, so it's neat. Fun. Yeah. And I'm sure it really tests your acting chops too, right? <laughs> you get because you're in a smaller space mm -hmm. too. And it's so much fun that we all just get to like participate in every aspect. Like we help dress people, we help move things, we help play everything. Yeah, we, we, all we have no running things. crew at all. They yeah. they do all of the work. They mm -hmm. they're helping play instruments in the show as well. Really? <laughs> it's 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 pretty intense. That's so cool. Yeah. What a wonderful idea. It's such talented kid. You have to have a great talented group, oh, right? Oh, sure. Yeah. Charlie and Sakura are two of our seniors that are about to leave our program. Mm -hmm. uh, but our, our whole cast is from five or five, 15 <laughs> to 18 <laughs> years old. Um, they're all high school students and and. I'm telling you, if you've come see a, see a show at ALT, you already know our quality of work. This this surpasses that. I even think, um, uh, if you've seen Into the Woods, you'll love this show. If you've never seen Into the Woods, you'll still love this show. I think our, our area audiences are really going to enjoy this show. And you've got several showings of it. We do, we do. Uh, we have opening night tomorrow, Friday the 13th. Oh, oh wow. Come into the woods, yes. So we open tomorrow. Tomorrow is sold out. I'm sad to say, uh, or happy to say happy for to us, say. but yeah, it's yeah, sad yeah. for your viewers. Um, we have shows this Friday and Saturday at 7:30, Sunday and matinee at. 2:30. The next weekend, Friday and Saturday, again at 7:30. Closing out on July 22nd at 2:30. Call our ALT box office 355-9991, or visit our website AmarilloLittleTheater.org for all of your ticket information. And we're even doing a talkback session after this Sunday show. Cool. After that show, we're inviting audiences who have seen the show or, or that are there um, for a talkback session to talk to the cast and crew. Just kind of have a, a, a Q and A session about our that's show. That's neat. Well, congrats on the work, guys. I mean, that's really cool. That sounds like a really Awesome concept. Good Thank work. You so much. Okay, really quickly, we've got 30 seconds. Yes. What's your pick for for Emmys? Oh, the Emmys! Oh my gosh! Uh, I definitely think Game of Thrones, since it's coming back, I think it's gonna take some stuff. Beep is not in the running anymore. No. So Julia uh, Louise Dreyfus, she's not gonna win her consecutive Emmy. So it's gonna be exciting. Crazy. Who's gonna win lead actress in 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 that category? Allison Janney just won the Oscar. Yeah. She's gonna win the Emmy this year. Um, I thought Laurie Metcalf coming back with Roseanne. Yeah. She got in there as well. But of course, Megan Mullally with Will and Grace. 
I'm a huge Emmy fan as well. So yeah. <laughs> well, we'll have to have you back For to sure. talk all For about sure. it. All That's right, exciting. stick around, everybody. A record-breaking attraction delivers unpredictable gravity-defying flips, twists, and turns. Harley Quinn Spin Sanity will open to the public this weekend at Six Flags Over Texas, but we've got a sneak peek coming up next.